Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys the Dior 30 Montaigne sunglasses. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews mostly on luxury beauty, skincare, and makeup. Occasionally, I do a luxury accessory review or share snippets of my life in a vlog here and there. So before I begin, you guys, like I said in my previous video, I hope that you guys find some comfort or a momentary pause through the videos that I share and the products that I share. This is not meant to be um, insensitive in any way. I know that 2020 has been difficult for a lot of us, but I enjoy sharing things with you guys and my product knowledge with you guys, which is what I'm hoping to offer in my video so i hope you just enjoy and take a little refuge in the 10 to 15 minutes that i share products with you guys that maybe you're interested in or are looking into so without further ado let me grab the sunglasses now i purchased these from this I purchased from Holt Renfrew, which is a luxury premium department store in Canada. And I'm going to share with you guys the difference that you get when you purchase it from the Dior Boutique versus purchasing it from a department store. So first of all, obviously the packaging. Now also I got this, you guys. This was on a special markdown, like a private sale. I'm not so sure if it was a private sale. It was just a sale. But a few of the things. So it was, I think, 35% off. And I've wanted the shades for quite a while. This style, I will show you guys why I've always wanted it. This is definitely falls into the cat category of oversized. So I did kind of peek into it already. Now, the box that they gave me is this box right here, which looks like the Dior Solitaire box. I'm not so sure if this was the exact box or the correct box, at least for the case. Um, as you can see, so we have the shades right here, and then the case is inside. Now let me show you first the shades. So this is how they look. It's the brown tortoise one that I purchased, and the Dior 30 Montaigne is an oversized sunglass that has the CD logo on the arm. Now this is obviously less, this is more of a statement than the Dior Solitaire that I have. So let me just put it on for you guys. I love the frame. Now I'm gonna read a bit of, this is the same as a Dior Stellar. It says that the frame is 58 millimeters. The bridge is 15 millimeters and the temple is 135 millimeters. This is made in Italy. It has a CD signature on the hinge. It's 100% UVA and UVB protection on the Dior website. 605 Canadian. And I purchased this from Holt Renfrew at 35% off. I will show you guys how much I purchased it for. So the total with tax of my purchase was four oh two and eight cents so i per the shades itself was 359 canadian so the 605 that you see on the dior.com website the canadian 605 canadian dollars is before tax so there is quite a bit of savings and the one that i got is a dior brown medium grain so that's how it looks you guys if you like oversized, 58 millimeters, which is the same size as a Dior Stellar, absolutely covers till your cheekbones up to over your brows, which I absolutely love. It's almost like a complete blackout for the eyes. Now, in terms of the packaging, I think this is one of the things that you can really tell the difference when you purchase from the Dior Boutique. A Dior Boutique does not go on sale. Now, the only reason why I got this on sale because department stores will usually do a markdown before the season ends of seasonal styles, whereas the boutique 
usually doesn't. Now you still get the Dior lens um, fabric and this is the case that they gave me with it which is not the correct case. This is actually the same case as my Dior Stellar which is like an, a, a leather origami case. Now this one expands this way. This is perfect for the Stellar, but for the Dior 30 Montaigne, this absolutely does not fit. So they did tell me ahead of time that they don't have the proper case anymore for this, or at least for the meantime, when they get new cases for it, they will let me know. But this was the last one in this style. So I did decide to grab it anyway. Now, obviously you guys can see it is not absolutely not gonna fit even when I expand the origami you can see it's really not meant for these shades so I am waiting on them to grab me when the new one comes but anyway this is the style there really isn't much else to show you guys but I think what I'll do is I'll I will share this one with a Dior let me get the Dior Stellar. So these are my Dior Stellars. You can see this is the same case that they gave me for the 30 Montaigne. So you can collapse it when you have it in your purse. This one was 570 Canadian. So this is like a velvet um, lining. And then this is the Dior sunglass silk fabric. Now this is the Dior Stellar, you guys. You can see how very understated it is compared to the Dior, the Dior 30 Montaigne. It's very streamlined. You don't see any, you do actually in the temple here, the design, it has a CD logo, but it's very, very minimal and very. Okay, you guys, before my camera went off, these are the Dior Stellars. They're very minimal. They're very lightweight. They're very understated. In the temples, there is a very small CD logo. And this is how they look. They are super light, you guys. And so this is also 58 millimeters frame. And the one that I got, I think this one is also, this one is, actually it's very similar to the Dior 30 Montaigne. So this one has the, like brown tortoise frame and metal and then i think an olive green or a medium gray frame as well there is a very small cd logo here in the corner i don't know if you guys can see that now versus the dior 30 montaigne so let's do a side by side so sorry so let's do a side by side so frame size is supposed to be the same but because this has like a larger frame, a plastic frame, it looks a lot larger. And also the arms of this are just massive. You can see, you can see right there. And when I wear this, because the frames are plastic and they're a bit, but honestly, you guys, I feel this is definitely heavier than this and it touches the bridge the the corners here touch the bridge of touch my the corners of my nose slightly but the rest like here which is the reason why i love the dior oversized frames because they barely touch your skin and when you do wear a lot of makeup that is my biggest pet peeve is that the frames or anywhere your sunglasses touch it will pick up your powder or foundation and then you just have residue all over so that it that is it you guys that is my little unboxing or review not review but just a little unboxing of the Dior 30 Montaigne and showing you guys how it looks on and comparing it with the Dior Stellar both over oversized frames from Dior I highly recommend both of them if you guys are fans of oversized frames I think they are absolutely oversized i think they're one of the bigger 
frames that you can see oversized frames you'll find in the market but they're also made very very well and they just have a very good fit to the face as well so i hope you guys found that interesting and informative and if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments down below so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have a great day or a great evening and if you haven't subscribed please please press the subscribe button down below i would